We're back with another episode. Mm-hmm. How are you? Feeling good, feeling great. Good. Hopefully my people, my wolf pack out there is doing good. It's Thanksgiving time, so you know, it's that time of the season, my favorite time of the season. Good food, family football coming up. Right. I'm good. I know. Thanksgiving week. And then right after that, we'll be right into the Christmas groove. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Although people are already in the Christmas groove, but... Anyways, yeah, let's talk about that. Really you want to talk about that? Why do people put up Christmas trees early? I think, and it's not even Thanksgiving yet. I, you know what? I feel like people really want something to be excited about, and so Christmas is a magical time. It's you know the spirit of the whole season, and so they. But Thanksgiving shouldn't be skipped like over. December hit. First, right. Before I, I don't know. I know. I hear what I you're like, saying. I hear what you're saying. I feel the, now, know, the day after thing, thing, the day after Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving is typically when I started decorating. However, you know, some people like to have their decorations up for Thanksgiving because they don't see certain family members during Christmas. So there's that element. So everyone mm-hmm. has a different situation. Mm-hmm. But, okay, but it's like if you're gonna do that, just remember, you know, not to forget like Thanksgiving. Like it's like you know this you know forgotten holiday mm-hmm. i feel like it has got that way a little bit honestly after halloween it, it's a christmas push it isn't even after thanksgiving yeah, if you notice true. that you know in the stores everything the, the, the online advertisements it's all okay in holidays anyway but that's a different mm-hmm. story well you know uh, if you're really <laughs> if you're really celebrating the reason of christmas it's not however a lot of it has been made to be not so much about what it's you know the actual reason why we're Something. You know, speaking of this, just remind me, I was at work, I think it was yesterday, no, it was the other day, and I was talking to one of my residents, and he's very, like, he he's a Christian, he's a Christian black man, and he was saying, he was talking about Thanksgiving, he was like, because we was talking, I was like, yeah, you know, that's a pagan holiday, matter of fact, he said, oh, they don't say anything about that in the Bible or something like that, right, oh, about Thanksgiving or something. And he was like, people wait for one day of the year to be thankful. And then he was like, you know, we should be thankful every day and all this other well, stuff. He was getting into it. But it just reminded me of that because it was like, it's true. It's like, gotta practice gratitude. We all get together during the holiday season. We'll cuss our family members out, talk shit about them <laughs> all other months of the year. But once the holiday season comes, it's okay. like, uh, you know, we're. We're family again. Well, not it's necessarily, because some people really like the holidays bring out like some of the worst true, stuff true. too. You, you, you got both you. ends of it. Some people really Fight dread that. the holidays. Christmas, yeah, you got that. It's, it's, but... it's unfortunate. I know some people don't really dread it because they're like, oh, I gotta go and see my family, extended family, and there's yeah. all this stress involved. That's why I used to just stay away. I ain't gonna lie. Right. I ain't, I've been stopped going to family, um, except for my mom, but like my other family. Yeah. yeah, it's to be political. <laughs> it does. It, it, I mean, we used to have big, big gatherings, and it's definitely small. You know, people had kids; it had to get smaller. There was too many people, but um, I could see it gets yeah, it gets a little touchy. Certain certain yeah. things as you get older, everyone has different outlooks on things. It's yeah, you know, it's tricky. Speaking of outlooks, yeah, I mean, what do you think of the Twitter deal? It's out the outlook of Twitter. Do you um, think it's grim, or do you think it's going to be good? Do you think that Elon Musk is this Twitter 2.0 is going to be? It's funny you said Twitter because I was even about to say Twitter, but that it go together, it go yeah. together. How you did that? Uh, Twitter, Twitter. So yeah, what happened? They said uh, what happened is he gave Elon up Musk took over and turned to Hitler or something like that. <laughs> he basically Elon was Musk. like, if you're not on board with my new, you know, um, what you know, Twitter 2.0, what he wants to turn into, it's like. Mm-hmm. You know, you're out, you get a severance, and well, most of the people are out now. Here's the thing. He said, the quote was, hardcore what? He wanted them to work longer hours and more hardcore... I think so. Something, but... right? So he pretty much wanted them to go harder than what they already was. Right. Right? Okay, here's the thing. Was Twitter... See, it comes out to this. Unless you think Twitter was worse before like with the other dude before he got there then i can see what he's trying to do to improve things but if if people think twitter is just good how it is then i can see why people are upset about that but from coming from a guy that made tesla as big as as big as it is right i mean 
who knows how he was working them. He was probably working them, treating them like well, slaves in that Tesla. But uh, he moved it all to Texas too. <laughs> but it's successful. If it's all about the bottom line, he know how to make things. And he, I, he's successful. trying to rebrand it. However, there's a way to go about that in a way that's not as you know hostile. Like I feel like you know. At the end of the day, he's still going to be a billionaire, and now you have all these people who, who lost their jobs before the holidays, like thousands. So I don't. I just feel like you know, he he saw those people as just disposable, and it's like I, I don't know. I just I wasn't into the approach. So R P R P Twitter with the hashtag. Yeah, people, and it so was for the employees. Gonna, what they think Twitter is going to be no more, or what? The thing well, not what it was. Either. It's be basically because he is now, you know, reinventing it to be something it was not. We'll Twitter's see what it is. We'll have to stay tuned. I, you know, still, let's see, but, it, all right, so Black yeah, there's Twitter's different. still going to be active. It will, and there's <laughs> definitely, like, there's, there's all different avenues in Twitter, right? I use it a lot of times for a news source, some entertainment stuff, too. Um, I find it to be, you know, a useful tool. Now we'll see. I haven't seen a huge change yet, but um, I don't know. I well, mean, Kanye funny. West got his uh, his handle back temporarily. I, I, I have a Twitter, but I never use it. Right. Mm -hmm. The only time I get on Twitter is like I'll go on Google and type in trending down on Twitter <laughs> just to see what everybody talks about. And Twitter is the perfect. You know, place for that because it gives you like the top it's true. 25, 30 things people talking about. So that's the only good thing about Twitter I did before. Twitter but, was like, the very first social media I ever had, actually. And it, yeah. I've had it the longest, but yeah, it's I feel like Twitter's one of those places, it's like it's it's a bit of a no no. I mean, some people use it like they're texting each other, which is kind of random and weird, but like I feel like you could streamline it to what you want and keep certain stuff out and. Not stuff's not going to randomly appear like it will on your Instagram or you know what I mean. If you could, I don't know. We'll see though. Maybe that'll change. I don't know. Well, I'm not on Twitter, so whether yeah. R R P Twitter or whether resurrects whatever, that's that's on them. I'm, right. I'm just like it was just surprising how they said most people walked out or something. I don't know. He must have had some pretty I wonder, harsh yeah, guidelines. I what it was exactly? You need to know the specific. I wonder if they weren't able to release it. It'll come out eventually. <laughs> or if they had to sign something. Well, he said they had to sign on with him, you know, to, and if they didn't, they had to go. So, but I wonder if they had to sign something yeah, not so releasing. So, 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 we're here to, nah, but, um. And I don't know, how could you really, I mean, yeah, business, Tesla's a, a totally different business than a social media platform, but I don't know. I mean, we'll see. Mm, yeah, to be continued we'll, we'll, on Twitter. We'll see if he's going to try to make it, you know. They were saying that everybody's just going to go to Instagram, stay on Instagram anyway. You know so that'd be good for Instagram. Twitter about the business, the other social media. You know what's things. funny, though? Anytime Instagram crashes, where does everybody go? They Twitter. jump over to Twitter. And, and there's it's always those nice. memes of like, hey, nice to see you. Like, <laughs> welcome back. It's funny. Instagram's down. Because <laughs> Twitter here. never used to go down. Twitter never went down. Instagram, Facebook, because they're all tied together, would always go down, right? So, yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. You know what else is interesting? Yeah. How weird it was that Chris Brown just got canceled two days before the AMAs, and there's no explanation. I think so that's really I, interesting. I didn't even know the AMA Awards was coming up, and I didn't know he was supposed to perform. So all this is a shock to me. But again, like I said, I just go on Twitter and I see hashtags, and uh, and then they lead me to where I need to go. So right. they said pretty much AMAs canceled them for no reason. They give no reason. So I really like what, what Tank had to say. And he came out and was like, you hired this man to do a job. You sent him to rehearsals. And then two days before the show, you told him, you know, he, you know, you didn't need him to perform and didn't give an explanation. But the part of like you hired him, he, he put in all this work. He put in his time. How do you not give an explanation? And I seen the rehearsal video. He posted it. Fire. It right. Well, I'm sure it would have been amazing. So either unless they're planning a separate show just to feature that, because you really could so, do a separate show, and I hope that's what's happening, because otherwise it's absolutely ridiculous. I heard it was due to some backlash about the whole Rihanna thing, but they that, that was so years long ago. ago. I don't know why they. And keep... by the way, like you knew that before you hired him. So. I like what Lil Boozy said. Lil Boozy said, you know. You gotta paint your skin white and have a soft voice in order for them to, you know, be like how Michael was in order oh, for right. them. Like Chris got all the tattoos and the 
Look, as long so, as he could do, you know, that could play a part too. He would have done a bang up tribute. And Nobody could do it better. Like I was saying earlier, Usher couldn't touch Chris Brown when it comes to. Oh, we, I'm not Michael about Jackson to get into the Usher Chris, Chris Brown just, debate with you again because this is an ongoing debate we have weekly about Usher and you know, Chris Brown. They just need to do a versus and get it over with. Even though I know they're friends, though they're real close friends, but I just feel like. They're both good in their own right. Yeah. They are just different, you know, as far as, mm-hmm. you know. Um, I mean, Usher hasn't really done anything new lately. Chris Brown got the longevity. Yeah. That's what but Usher doing. has the, the, has the, the, he the has, classics. He has the classics. And, and Chris Brown doesn't have any, he has hits, not classics. Yeah, and that's yeah, where, he, and that's that where he loses the I really, argument. No, I really gotta go dig in the discography because I'm sure Chris. You shouldn't even have to dig classic. if he's if they're that good. Why would you have to dig? Case in point. Yeah. Next topic. I'm just Anyways, <laughs> yeah. Next topic. What are we talking? Oh, Wakanda. Wakanda. Wakanda forever. Mm-hmm. Very good movie. Gotta so, go see it this holiday weekend or it's very soon. Yeah, Wakanda. Seeing that it was a. It was a. A pretty good movie, you know. One through ten, and I'll give it a eight and a half. Eight and a half, you know. A half. <laughs> eight and One a half. half, only because I, I don't know. I feel like it was maybe it wasn't too long, but it was. It, it, it was, was kind of like long, but it was good. It was still interesting. I liked a little. What you call them? The oh, underwater yeah. people. I thought right. they were yeah, Spoiler alert movie. if you haven't seen them. We're going to talk uh, about them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's okay. because we're. What's we're the they, they talk about them on Twitter all the time. So people, they got it. The know. guy's yeah. name, I forgot it. He has uh, the wings on his feet. Namur. Namur. Uh, yeah. Namur. Yeah. Namur. The new he was the leader of the new nation. Yeah. yeah, 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 that, yeah. They, that So yeah. It was really that. This the um, What do you call it? The uh, visual effects were amazing. That was huge. For me. I'll just start with this. It's very hard for me to sit in a movie theater for almost three hours. Like, I, it, it's got to be a good movie. And I was locked in the entire time. Like, I wasn't like, oh, like, is this almost over? Ever. Mm-hmm. Like, it really, it had some good messages in there. Um, I really liked at the end when, um, you know, her mother appeared to her. And, and it, it, that part was like, show, show them who you are. I loved that part. That was probably my favorite part of the movie. And it was like... You talk about when Angela Bassett appeared you know her spirit yeah, appeared so, and so, said yeah. and spoke to her daughter because she was ready to kill him yeah. it was like mm-hmm. show him who you are i was like ooh, it was, it was just kind of an impactful like moment and 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 you know was, there was a lot of impactful moments in that movie i feel like but um yeah that one for me was kind of like so i think they introduced a new character um or i don't know you know what the girl the girl that was in the movie the one that was building um the little girl right. that took with him back to Wakanda. She was yeah. like a she was good scientist. too. But her character, you know, she was in the suit. Da, da, da. I feel like that was I don't know what there's the gonna be a part is. three is what I feel but like. She might be in some of the upcoming Marvel films, but yeah, overall it was good, you know. I highly um, recommend. I would give it I would give the it women more are me. held in high regard in the second one, I would say that. Oh, I yeah. could tell, you know. Very powerful. Women are very powerful in the second one. I feel like they shed a light on that one. Yeah, it was um, good. I think it was, there were some important messages in there, and, and you know, without giving too much away. But yeah, I think um, it's definitely a must see. It's action packed. It's, um, you know, I mean, you don't even have to be someone who's into sci fi to be into it. I'm not a person that's totally, but it was, it was entertaining, visual effects, sound effects, all of it. Yeah, they have a 3D version too. So um, yeah. Did they get the Chadwick Bosman? Oh, um, that was really well tribute. done. They, they yes, that gave me there. chills. That was really good. Oh, I'm glad they incorporated that in. That was good. Definitely. Um, music was good. I think that soundtrack's good. I know he had a son. Yeah. The movie. The little, yeah, the little yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't you, do you feel like they set it up for part three? I feel like they did. Yeah, I feel like it has to come back. Um, only because the, the pact that Wakanda made with the underwater people and mm-hmm. I feel like they left off. And then the part where what I don't I keep forgetting their name, but it's the big bug dude that being right his of, wife or whatever was like, she was. The, she was upset that he like let her live, and she was who? like, "I was supposed to fight." No, that no, fight no, 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 yeah, yeah. But I'm talking about the black, the big bug black dude. Oh, yeah, that oh. was challenging for the throne. Oh, so right, I feel right. Like 
they got to do something with that too because he wants to challenge for the throne. But overall, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, no. Or it may not be another Wakanda Black Panther, but they might put him in like a joint movie with. Who knows? If they may make another one. They may make another one. I don't know. Wakanda. I feel like there is going to be you know. a new one. I think, I hope there is. Because the Black Panther probably got to continue, like the legacy, you know. Just because Chadwick died, don't mean right. they don't stop doing the characters. So, right. even though they people see him as that. But yeah, I think it'll continue. It'll Especially since they introduced a new character that you got a female, and then they also had like a difference. They, they, they left some loose ends, I feel like. So, we'll see the young boy. Michael B. Jordan made a little quick appearance. Right. No boy was in that thing. Mm -hmm. It should have had him again there, you know. I like him. I like his character in that. Yeah. I wish he was, you know, in the second good. one, but it's okay. They had new, new people. They did. It's all good in the hood. Um, we don't really have much else to talk about. We, we, we just... kind of went through it. I know. We went that. We, we talked about, you know. Oh, I know what I was going to ask you. We were talking about Thanksgiving a little bit. And I was like, okay, what are your favorite? We, you, you were talking about it's totally terrible to have dry turkey. And I was like, what, oh, are your favorite, what are your favorite foods of Thanksgiving? Like, um, what you really look forward to? So, instead of turkey, ham. The ham is always good. Dressing. But you gotta have a, uh, a little meat in it with the gravy on it. Stuffing. Some people make it different, you know. Yeah, yeah the stuffing. Is yeah, the stuffing is is my um, go to. Mac and cheese, you know, you gotta have mac and cheese. I feel like it's not the same without mac and cheese. I think yeah, you have to have mashed potatoes too. I feel like mashed, yeah, potatoes, mashed potatoes are kind potatoes, of important. You can put them in there. Mashed potatoes. Or or then there's like well, some people do a green bean casserole. I don't know. That's not bad. But for me, like the <laughs> dessert, like I'm a dessert person, so I like that's a big element uh, for me. Yeah, yeah no. I'm like peach cobbler. Oh god, cobbler, I love her. You know what I've pies, never done a peach peach sweet yet. potato, pecan. Yeah, okay. I like the pies. I'm a big pie person. Um, sweet Same. potato pie. Not no apple, not none of that. Other stuff. I don't, I don't mind. Apple's not a favorite. I'll eat it if it's there, but it's not a favorite. No, honestly, I love cherry pie, which is random and it's mm. not very Thanksgiving ish, very but I manage to get one every year. <laughs> That's more of a summer thing, but um, I like pumpkin pie. Mm, mm, mm. But you have, maybe not I every pumpkin pie is good. It's got to be made right and it's got, you got to have like some, you know, ice cream with it. And I don't know. It's not true. If you've had it's, good pumpkin pie. The only thing I like pumpkin is pumpkin seeds. That's it. You like pumpkin bread, too. Uh, I think I would try the pumpkin bread. Yes, you have. I tried it. Was it good? <laughs> pumpkin muffins. Oh. Yeah, you, you've had it. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Pumpkin muffins is cool. You're right. They look good, too. Yeah, but I, I mean, like I said, I've had bad pumpkin pie, and it's gross. So, yeah, I, I agree. It has to be made right, but it's not. that's not my favorite, either. No, my favorite pie is cherry pie, but I do love cobbler's. Yeah, but I know peaches are kind of hard to come by in the summer year. That's yeah. more of a summer thing. But yeah, no, it's got to be, there's got to be good stuffing. I've never done the mac and cheese thing at Thanksgiving. But you know, see, I'm Italian. Like, I'm not going to lie. There's always some kind of pasta. Like, there's raviolis or something like that. There's there's always some kind of pasta element off to the side, which is mm. clearly not, you know, every, not everyone yeah, does I really that. need pasta for Thanksgiving. Pasta well, trust me, if you had these raviolis, you wouldn't be mad. <laughs> Mm. They're good, <laughs> but it is, but it is, it's not like a typical, it's, you know, it's the Italian flair that gets thrown in there. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think that, oh, one other thing, I, you know, I don't like when people make the little, what's that, the fruit sal salads, or oh. they put the marshmallow and fruit all together. Oh, like on the, of, like a, um, I know what you're talking about, like it's the, the, the Stop the, doing that, folks. Sweet, sweet, stop making that. The, no, it's a that's, sweet potato casserole thing, right? Nah, with, nah, with, uh, nah, or nah. no, in like yams with the marshmallows. Why do you gotta make a casserole out of everything? Everything don't need to be turned into a casserole. You know why? Because everyone has let, different traditions. That's yeah, why. I don't like that, that either. I don't like that. that one. Fruit, fruit cakes and, oh, and gross. Fruit and, cakes are gross. They're really and, um, People making sweet spaghetti. Oh, that's you know, so put sugar in their spaghetti. Uh, okay, I don't so know. What are we doing, folks? Around, right? <laughs> I've never. It's like that's why I'd be like an Italian and put sugar in your spaghetti. You can't eat to... everybody food. I'm not trying to have sweet spaghetti and all oh. this. People just be want to 
experiment and make. It's yeah. not. It's never black no, people. Sh- it's not black sh- folks. You should not I think be experimenting black at the holidays. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a good time to experiment. Not when you have a crowd of people. Like it's not the time to like try out new things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, no, stick with the classics. And you'll be okay. Yeah, pretty much. So, Thanksgiving coming up. I can't wait. Work my football. Chill, chill with the fam, man. You and uh, you, what you doing? Going to see your mom? I am going to see my mom. Yep. Yep. So. Sounds good. Just, I guess we can <laughs> wrap it up there. Yep. And Till next time. Till after Thanksgiving. Till after Thanksgiving, yeah. Um, we'll have a full review. Of, uh, of, oh, of, of Thanksgiving? Or, yeah. or, or of the latest current events? All the above. Let y'all know the latest trends that need to stop when it comes to. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, y'all have a good one. Stay safe and. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>